Business is winning unions. Are they just whining? A federal judge telling the NLRB that it can't really force companies to post signs informing workers about their right to unionize. Well, several business groups are suing the National Labor Relations Board, saying that rule would make businesses reluctant to hire. My next guest disagrees. Bob Kuttner from Demos joining me right now. Bob, why would that be bad? Why would what be bad? Why would they, their view that this would be bad? Why, why, why are they wrong? Well, first of all, let's get the facts straight. The, the judge did not tell the NLRB uh, not to direct businesses to post the notice. The judge said, please give me a couple of extra weeks to rule on this. Christmas is coming. I'm a new judge. I want to do a good job on this. So the basic story is off. Uh, the NLRB was not overruled. The case is still pending. But Secondly, it's a delay, you know, right? You Bottom go, line, it's a delay, but, but the, the fear not, is that not, we have in, 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 in operation here a, a, something that businesses say would be disadvantageous to them. You say that they're, they're lying. Well, uh, uh, yes, uh, think about it. You go into an HR office or an employee cafeteria, you know, you see a few notices posted of workers' rights. Here's the minimum wage. Here's your right not to be discriminated against. Here's your right to take medical leave if you get sick. These are all worker rights that reflect federal legislation. And one of those laws that was duly enacted in 1935 is the Wagner Act. It says you have a right to join a union. It's federal law. So the NLRB, because there's been so much business uh, retaliation against workers who want to join unions, says post that notice that the worker has a right to join or, for that matter, not to join. But I think the idea that this is somehow going to prevent uh, companies from hiring, I mean, if Fox News needs to hire some new people, is it going to say, oh, my God, we had to post a notice and that's a hassle, so we're not going to make those hires? I mean, I just think this is delusional. Well, I think you're minimizing the impact of this. Aren't they saying effectively you bet that... I am. Okay, well, that's fine. But they're saying that their fear is that there will be, there will go from notices to heavy pressure to unionize, and it will go right into the workplace, eventually right into the boardroom, and into the operations themselves. And furthermore, that they, they will shorten the period at which they, they do push for that unionization, thereby putting well, companies sure, no. at a disadvantage. What do you say to that? Well, those are, those are separate questions, and most companies do not like unions. They make it very tough on workers who want to organize a union, and that's just the way it is. But to say that a simple notice saying to a worker, under the Wagner Act, under federal law, if you want to join a union, you have a right to do it, at a time when, you know, a lot of people who sign union cards, they just get fired with impunity, that's pretty harmless. And the judge hasn't even said they can't do it. The judge asked for a couple of more weeks to really consider the, the issues in the lawsuit. So this is a real tempest in a teapot. All right, well, maybe you're right. But here's another concern here. This happens in an environment where the NLRB has sort of checked itself on this whole Boeing in South Carolina thing. Those workers remain in, in South Carolina, and there is a fear here expressed by some in the union movement that maybe they bit off more than they could chew, as did the NLRB, uh, and they're holding back. They're dialing it back, are they? Well, I think, I think the outcome, actually, in the, in the Carolina case was a very good outcome. I mean, Boeing tried to punish its union uh, by uh, moving a lot of jobs to Carolinas, and uh, it agreed to keep some of that work in Washington State, and the union said, okay, we withdraw the complaint. But it never said that and it was going to stop keeping happy. that work in Washington State. I mean, oh, you can put all yes, the great spin on it you want, but they never, they never cut back workers in Washington State. They hired these new workers in South Carolina. You could spin that to, 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 to look like it was a victory for, the, uh, you know, for unions or the NLRB. The fact of the matter is that they, they, couldn't, they couldn't push this, so they dropped this. Yeah, except that they, they made a commitment to keep a certain amount of work in uh, Washington State, which they hadn't made before. Yeah, but and they wanted to stop this away. push into right-to-work states, and that was stopped. Boeing can do what it wants. Well, Boeing can do what it wants unless it is doing it deliberately in order to retaliate against workers and uh, uh, that have a union contract. The NLRB said, no, you can't do that. Okay. So both sides compromised. All right. We'll watch it closely, Bob. Thanks for having me. Always good having you. Thank you very much, Bob Kuttner. Thanks a lot, Neil. Bye-bye.